Every Tuesday night we go on tour and tonight's Small Towns Report centers on a tool and the man who makes it. We're heading to a knife makers workshop in Shawano County. Here's NBC 26's Eric Crest. It's taken seven years now for Jess Hoffman to get a handle on the knife making business. My goal was to make knives and have them be a sole authorship, meaning that everything about that knife is coming out of my shop and done with my hands. Time was the ingredient needed, though, to create an outline for the development of the hobby that needed to be forged first. My first knives I made just using files, and now it takes me about 30 seconds on the grinder to do what I did over, you know, probably a six hour period. Through trial and error, Hoffman discovered he'd sparked an interest that went well beyond what started as a mere hobby. It is so many different disciplines to, to turn out a, a quality knife. Starting with a bar of steel, Hoffman grinds out the shape of what he hopes will become an heirloom for his customers. Yes, a lot of character and no two are the same. That's something that you, you can't get at Walmart, you can't get at the big box store. At about the halfway point, after popping a couple of holes into the shaft, it becomes apparent that every last process here is left with a personal and intentional touch. Your memories are attached to that knife and that's something I helped create. And by the time the heat is applied, only to be followed by its counterpart of cooling, there's only one vital step left. To match his blades with a handle that is just as original as the process going down in this garage. And there's a lot of knife makers that make knives that are just strictly show pieces, and that's great. I, I want mine to be a work of art, but I also want it to be usable. This is the workshop of Jay Hoffman's Knives a place where steel is shaped, wood is precisely chosen and whittled down to form, and a place where one man has turned a hobby into a part-time profession that few would take a stab at. Within 100 miles, I can think of probably four or five that are making a living at it. In Westcott, Wisconsin, I'm Eric Crest covering small towns for NBC 26.